everybody, I'm about to go into Alfalfa Restaurant, one of the most eclectic places in downtown Lexington, Kentucky. They're known for their vegan and vegetarian options, locally grown food, performing arts, as well as a space for hipsters and suits alike. Alfalfa has always been a vegan and vegetarian friendly space since its inception in 1973 when it sat across the street from the University of Kentucky. Opening up during a pandemic can present some challenges, but owners Wally and Tiffany Elamine remain hopeful that the love of good food will keep their business buzzing. The Elamines became the new owners of Alfalfa in 2020 after 47 years of the restaurant's existence. The friendly space with brick interior brings an artistic and cozy vibe. Just about everything in the restaurant, including art in the gift shop, is locally sourced. And most of the produce is from black Kentucky farmers. We get our cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, cabbage, zucchini, squash, herbs for um, not even for seasoning, just for seasoning, but also for plating. We get our, some of our watermelons and other melons um, from locally, from Kentucky. And then we also have Wagenberger grits, which is a Kentucky local grit. We also buy from um, Belew Estates, which is another business of ours, but we source local herbal tea blends that we have in shop. We also have a local coffee guy. He has his blends and decaps and regulars. We make lattes and espressos with his items, and they're also Kentucky Proud as well. The Elamines say the goal of the restaurant is to serve healthy, culturally diverse plates. What we're trying to do is still have that food that's good for your soul, but we're using as fresh and local as we can. We're using as less ingredients as we can. Why is it important for the new owners to provide healthier food options, you may ask? Mrs. Elamine grew up on a farm in Madison County, Kentucky, just south of Lexington. She says her agricultural roots are a major influence. My whole childhood was straight farm food. With alfalfa, I'm trying to re-educate us on how we like to eat. When you really think about the five products and all the crap that goes into fast food, it's the same crap that we were being fed as slaves. Though the ownership hands have changed, a few classic dishes remain the same. The Elamines have also expanded the menu to include more soul food plates. Hoppin' John, which is an alfalfa classic, the fried fish and chips, Jackfruit anything. Yeah. Doing well, jackfruit tacos, tacos nachos, nachos, burritos. Um, for breakfast, people love um, the French toast, gluten-free or regular. Um, and people love, um, my husband came up with this all-American breakfast. Regardless of your dietary restrictions, there's a dish for you. I helped myself to the veggie and hummus plate at my last visit. The art culture is big at Alfalfa, as it is right next door to the Pam Miller Downtown Arts Center. You can catch several live performances at the restaurant monthly. You know, back in the early 19th century, one of the most popular forms of musical entertainment in Kentucky was the minstrel show. The Amos and Andy show was even held near the very spot where Alfalfa is located. What a contrast to today. Currently, there are no other black owned restaurants in this part of downtown Lexington. The Elamines are proud to be part of history. Being black owned downtown does weigh heavy and we just try to not, I guess, show how heavy that is because we don't want people to feel pressure from this. We want people to know that this is something that we all can do. Alfalfa doesn't have a typical customer, but the owners say if you love vegan, love everything local, love black owned businesses, and love diversity and culture, you'll love their place. We have all types of different people here, but I feel like it's a space that everybody feels the same. Next time you're passing through the horse capital of the world, AKA Lexington, Kentucky, make sure you stop by Alfalfa Restaurant, where farm meets fork. In Kentucky, for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Kia Arnold.